Hi everyone, it's Said here. This video is the answer to my friend's question submitted via Instagram. By the way, you can go and check my Instagram. If you have questions you need quick answers to, I will make sure to answer as soon as possible. Today's video is about control groups. It's a bit technical, but then I don't want to scare you by telling you this, because um, since I learned it, why wouldn't you? I will be using this project for this tutorial. So if you want to understand control groups, go to documentation and control groups should be normally somewhere here in the bottom. If you cannot see it, go to edit and then it will be there, control groups. If you want to add that to your report, go and check that and click on it so we can see everything about your control groups. So here are the groups I have here in this meeting room. I have the first group, it's actually the world's consists. I have four of them. And then a second group, it's for paintings. For these paintings I have in the sides. The third group is for this circulation. And then a fourth group for this luminaire above the table. You can see that like the rest of the luminaires like that don't belong to a group are grayed. It's exactly the same thing in the other groups here. If you go further down, then you will have this part here, which is the interesting part and in control groups. It summarizes everything. You have control group. We have four of them here and these here actually are the light scenes. So the light scene number one is table only. So the group one, two, three are off. All of them are dimmed down to zero. And this is actually one luminaire. It has four components to it, but let's not talk about this right now. Um, all of them are 100%. And this light scene is only wall sconces. So the first group, which is for wall sconces, is turned on 100% and the rest is zero. Only paintings and 50% table. So this one here, the first group is zero. The one that is for the paintings is turned on 100%. Then the third one for the circulation is zero. And then the luminaire for the table is 50%. All on, so all of them are turned on 100%. And here in the bottom, you have the luminaire list exactly the same as this one here, luminal list, and the same as the one that you can have in summary. The one million question is, where does all this come? Because by default, you won't have any of these. So for you to know, you need to go to light, and then to light scenes, and it's actually here that the magic happens. So by default, every Dialogues project you work on, it has one light scene and two light groups. It has interior lightings and exterior lightings, but in this project I have no exterior luminaires. So um, you can create as many light scenes as you want and as many groups as you want. Let's go and check every scene one by one. Table only. Click on that it will actually visualize lighting for the table only and the rest of the luminaires is off. So this is the detail of the light scene. All of the luminaires are off except the table luminaire that is on here. And only wall sconces, it's again, all of the luminaires are off except the wall sconces. And here are the details for that. All of the luminaires are off except the wall sconces. Same for the only painting plus 50% of the table. All the luminaires are off except the, the luminaires for the paintings and 50% for this luminaire here. It looks, I mean, off, but then it's 50% on. And then all of them on, it's gonna visualize all of the luminaires on here. And it's actually this part here that is shown in the documentation. 
and control groups. By the way, I have made a video like three years ago about light scenes. Go and watch it. It's going to be somewhere there. It's going to help you a lot. If you have learned something today, please give my video a thumbs up. Ask me in the comments if you have any kind of questions and see you in the next video.